Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday. Look at this beautiful uh, tree. Look at the beautiful blossoms. Just um, down here along the side of uh, Humpy Bong Creek again this morning. All the, as the light plays through the paper barks and along the, the uh, walkway or riverbank here. Just another glorious day. Been uh, what one could say is a typical Monday. Uh, you know, the hard to get started type of uh, day. Um, but it's worth getting up and, and having a look at it and getting out there and, and enjoying uh, what God has put together for us today. And uh, every day is different. Every day is a challenge. Sometimes it's the same old same and you might think it's the same getting up, going to work, doing all those sorts of things. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think any two days are, are the same. And it brings us to um, this morning's uh, devotional and our, our series. And I wanted to, uh, to look at this one. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who finds a treasure in a field and he covers it back up. And he goes away and he buys that land. He puts everything that he's got into purchasing that piece of land. And the next one, finding a pearl of great price and giving up everything and, and selling everything so that that uh, treasure can be, can be purchased. They both go together. Uh, they're both very short little one sentence parables. Um, and they're, they're put close together because they both mean the same thing, that we are often willing, the illustration says, to, to look at what is valuable and to, to desire that over everything else. And so in doing so, we will give up everything else to have that, that, that thing. Now I think of, you know, when I was a, a young boy and my greatest desire in life was to, to have a push bike. Now, as you know, I come from a poor family and, you know, we couldn't even afford a push bike. You know, it wasn't even a, wasn't even a consideration. It just wasn't going to happen. But I remember some friends of mine who uh, scoured around for bits and pieces. And then on my birthday, they turned up with this <laughs> hybrid uh, bike. This it, it, The wheels weren't the same size. The... the um, the uh, the seat was off something or other or else the brake it only had one set of brake cables that were mounted to the to the center bar because well the cables weren't long enough but i'll tell you what i loved that bike and i loved um what my mates did for me and what the you know what it cost them didn't seem very much to but to me it, it seemed like everything and then i read a, a book uh, not too many years ago now, uh, about Keith Green. His wife, uh, Melody Green, wrote it. And Keith Green was a Christian songwriter in the, in the 70s, probably before Christian music was an industry that it is now. And that's no slight on anybody else, by the way. That's you know, just stating a simple fact, I guess. But he, um, the book, if you ever get a chance to read the book, No Compromise. And this man and his wife when they became Christians, they believed wholeheartedly in the teachings of Jesus about doing to others as you would have them do unto you, to serving the least of these and all of that. And so they took it to heart so much that what they did was open their home up to anybody, everybody, single mothers, strangers, men off the streets, anybody that was in dire need, the Greens were there. He also gave us such songs like, There is a Redeemer. Um, it was a standard in the church when I, when I joined the church, but uh, it came from a long-haired hippie in the, in the 70s. So what has all this got to do with finding a treasure and burying it all and saving up and so you only have it? What's this got to do with a pearl of great price that you want to hide it away and then sell everything you have? To have that pearl, well, Christianity doesn't have a compromise. 
the question for you and I today is, are we willing to give up everything for Jesus? So we all want stuff. Difference between want and need, I'll get into that another time. But we all want stuff. And we are prepared to save for that expensive car or that house or go into debt for it. We we're prepared to save for a holiday. We we're prepared to save up for uh, gifts for, for friends or, or um, family. We we're, we're prepared to save or do things or give up things for other things. But what are we prepared to give up for the kingdom? So the kingdom of heaven is like a man who finds a great treasure. And when he finds it, he buries it, he goes off, sells all he has so that he can have that treasure. Now, this is not the man being selfish or the pearl finder being selfish. This is them recognising what they found has great value, is impossible to get anywhere else. And that's what the kingdom of heaven should be like to you and I. We should be prepared to give up whatever it takes to pursue the kingdom of heaven. It's not talking about just giving up money. What about giving of your time? What about giving to somebody else? What about giving away something else? You know, to put down the device, well, oddly I'm talking on one, but to put down the devices, to put away or turn off the TV, to, to do something about pursuing the kingdom of God. Because ultimately it is the only pearl. It is the only treasure because at at its center at the kingdom center is Jesus Christ and if we are not actively pursuing after him the greatest treasure ever and quite frankly we have nothing remember Jesus said to that rich young ruler I've said this a few times give up everything sell it all come follow me and the rich young man went away poor poor in spirit he was sad and it says Jesus loved him but Jesus didn't chase him. I guess Jesus was giving him time maybe to come to his senses. I don't know. But I just often like to imagine, what if the rich young ruler said, yes, Jesus, I can do that. I can sell it all and I can follow you. I just wonder what the response might have been then. Maybe we, I know your heart's in the right place. You don't need to sell it all because we can use it in, you can use it in your ministry. See, the parables are not about having to give away. They're about the willingness to give away. They're not about having to have a treasure secret away from everybody else. They're about the willingness to pursue after Jesus, after the kingdom. Remember this whole series, the kingdom of heaven is like. What do you think the kingdom of heaven is like? And is it worth pursuing? Only you can answer that question. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for this day ahead of us. Thank you for the challenges that will arise in it. But thank you for giving us the strength and the courage to meet those challenges. Jesus, as this day unfolds, we just pray that you guide us. We pray that you help us. We pray that you enlighten us and lift us up. And we pray that we're pursuing you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friends, for you and me, another day shall start. Until we meet each other again tomorrow, I'll give you a shot of something just beautiful about the sun coming through trees. Just something that I enjoy. I don't know about you, but um, I'm holding the camera, so you have no choice. (laughs) But um, until we meet again, take care, uh, God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow morning.